Hey everyone, I'll tell you what I don't trust, stairs, because they're always up to something. But talking of not trusting people, President Trump woke up this week to discover that one of his loyal inner circle had anonymously written a column in the New York Times It was the editorial equivalent of Gordon Ramsay going berserk in a badly run kitchen. This came just one day after his scathing excerpts from yet another anti-Trump book came out, this one written by Bob Woodward, who was of course famous for reporting on the Watergate scandal back in the day, uh, which also prominently featured a hotel in A Twist of Fate. But anyway, the editorial, who wrote it then? Well, suspect number one is Vice President Mike Pence, who would of course inherit the Oval Office where Mr Trump to be ousted. Pence has in the past repeatedly said that he has no ambitions to run for the presidency in 2020, although at the same time he never formally ruled out planning a move for it in 2018. Also in the lineup are Rick Perry, Mike Pompeo, James Mattis, Dan Coach, Jeff Sessions, Rod Rodstein, and of course Colonel Mustard with the candelabra in the billiard room, or for a more American translation of that, Sergeant Tabasco with the flashlight in the den. Uh, because right now all anyone can do is make silly guesses. There isn't any evidence to go by other than some analysis of words and sentence structure that makes palm reading look like quantum mechanics and Mystic Meg look like Marie Curie. <laughs> You may as well have a go at guessing who the next Doctor Who would be, except in this case it's all white men over the age of 50, so no luck there, BBC. Um, finally, two other stories this week, though. Uh, Boris Johnson, he's been so keen to practice Brexit that he's done a trial run by splitting from his wife. He's apparently drafted up a divorce agreement that gives him full access to the wife, not having to hand over any money ever, and a conditional clause that allows him to share subsequent girlfriends with Nigel Farage, but definitely not Michael Judas Gove. Um, also, Car Chase film star Burt Reynolds just passed away this week. My favourite film of his was that one with the French car factory exploding into flames. And Oh wait, no, that's Burnt Reynolds I'm thinking of. Never mind. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.